Layer 3 should be your preferred deployment method for the Palo Alto Networks Next Generation Firewall. Let me explain the concept, short and simple. If this is your first time here, I'm Lars von Consigas. We call ourselves the Palo Alto Networks Experts because the Next Generation Firewall is our passion. It's what we do all day every day, migrating firewalls, providing managed services and most important, implementing security best practices. When I started to work with this box in 2010, barely anyone knew about Palo Alto Networks. But as an engineer I felt that this solution will change the world of cybersecurity. And yes, today we know it did big time, because it's one of the few security solutions that can truly secure your network. However, there's a caveat. You need to set it up in the right way in order to be effective. Because while it's awesome, it's not a magic box. So over the years we became a professional service partner for Palo Alto Networks, as well as one of a few elite authorized training centers. And with working in the field for so many years and being a trainer, I would like to share my experience with you. So over the next couple of weeks and months, we release new videos and core concepts explaining the fundamental workings of the next generation firewall, starting with the trend landscape, then deployment methods, NAT, AppID, SSL decryption VPNs and many more. So follow us on LinkedIn, YouTube or Twitter to stay up to date. But now let me explain your Layer 3 interfaces. Layer 3 is the classical deployment method for firewalls. If you have worked with a firewall in the past, then most likely this was deploy in Layer 3, meaning you know we had you know uh, your internal network connected to the firewall and the traffic was routed over the firewall to then go for instance to the internet or to any other networks okay so now let's say in our case we have again here the internal network the internet let's say here we also have connected uh, a DMZ right so now it's kind of to set up the the our next generation firewall in layer 3 um, the first thing what we need to do is we have here our interfaces and these interfaces we need to allocate them uh, an interface type because remember we have different deployment methods so we now need to decide you know what do should this interface be deployed as all right so we can have to find let's say this as a layer 3 interface and we're going to do the same for the other interfaces as well right so all of them uh, all of these interfaces are now defined as a layer 3 interface so now we have the traffic kind of coming here to the interface, but now we need something here in the middle that makes a decision of, you know, where the traffic is routed to, okay? So, and this function is done by our virtual router. Okay, so every interface, every layer 3 interface always has to be allocated to a virtual router, right? And always just one. Now, why is this called a virtual router? Because we can actually have multiple ones. And that's another use case uh, which we're going to look up later on. Okay? So, for now, it's you know, very straightforward, right? The traffic comes to the interface. Traffic then goes to the routing table, to the virtual router. And in our routing table, we look up, okay, where do we send the traffic to? So, do we send it out to the internet or do we send it out to the DMZ? You know, we make this decision based on the routing table. Okay, and then the traffic is passing. Obviously, one very important element for traffic to pass on the firewall is also the security policy. So every interface, we also need to allocate to a zone, right? So on the inside, we have our office zone. On the outside, we have our internet zone. And here, we have then our DMZ zone. And, you know, in order to allow traffic from one zone to the other, right, we need a security policy, uh, which then basically decides, okay, do we allow the traffic or not. Now, from a use case point of view for, for layer 3, when do we use layer 3? Well, whenever we can. Okay, so layer 3 should always actually be the, the standard deployment method. Um, now, in the following section, we're going to look at all of the other deployment methods, like virtual wire, layer 2, um, etc. And, um, and they are very powerful for very specific use cases, but, you know, at least in my opinion, right, layer 3 should be the kind of the deployment method which you should always anticipate for firewall simply because this is there where we have the most functionality right and all the other deployment methods there's always you know some limitations um, what we have to work with right so layer 3 is kind of let's say the most powerful deployment methods uh, and that should be the kind of really the default one um, for a firewall 
And by the way, if you're interested in security best practices for Palo Alto Networks, then check out the blog on our webpage. Here in the best practice section, you can download this worksheet with over 120 best practices for the next generation firewall. And very soon, we will also launch a security best practice training with a lot of videos explaining all of these security best practices in detail. So if you're interested, then sign up to our mailing list and we will let you know as soon as this free training is available.